friends a very warm welcome to coding techniques today we are going to work with the app landing screen of the travel application so we will be basically designing out there the custom tabs so before getting started with our designing part i would like to discuss with you a few things which is if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do that up if you are liking my videos then definitely you would love to subscribe it that will help to reach 1k pretty soon and also you might have seen my udemy course which is running in best seller right now which is based on ionic so if you haven't enrolled in that particular course please do that up if you want to learn more about ionic so with that being said let's get started with our video <laughs> So this is the earlier design which we have already built up and I am taking the Cordova project the capacitor Cordova project which we built in our previous video so out here in the sign up we have the camera options let's check it out so let's go to app.module.ts because I will be using it in the browser so I will be using the capacitor plugin not the Cordova plugin so I'll simply comment this Cordova plugin thing for the camera because that won't be in use right and where all do we need to do let's go to our sign up page which is within our welcome screen sign up and out here what am i going to do at first let me comment this thing up even this one too and uncomment this camera from our capacitor plugin right once that is done i'll uncomment this function and the other function which we used for the Cordova plugin we will simply comment it up fine I'm sure you are understanding this what am I trying to do I'm just using the capacitor plugin for the camera not the Cordova one out here all right all right so after this is done we can see that if I click on this button we are getting the pop-up all right so this is working nicely fine now what am I going to do I'll create a tabs page that's what we need you have already seen in the design right so let us create few pages at first so that we can go ahead so ionic g page now i will align all these things in a proper manner so what i'll do i'll create a pages folder and within that i am going to create a tabs folder because that will define that this is our these are the pages all right everything needs to be done in a proper way so that it is very easy to identify what all things you have built so this page is created now what i'll do now within the tabs page i'll be creating four tabs so i need to create four pages for that so first one will be the home page so for that i need g pages slash tabs slash home oops i made a mistake this should be i need g page then pages slash tab slash home because i need it within the tabs folder only so in the similar manner i'll create three more pages one will be wish list then a profile one and the last one gonna be it is related to reason or you can even call it locations i think that will be better to call it a locations because there are a lot many locations in a trip that you can select out there you can have the nearby locations also if you like to have all right the four pages are created which you can check it out here right it's all available out here even you can do one more thing what i'll do is now out here i'm going to move this welcome folder within our pages folder so that we can have a proper structure all right okay uh, i think it is running that is why it is showing that problem let me stop this i just have to stop everything even i have to reload this visual studio code otherwise it's going to stop so what i'll do is i'll just cut this and this was our folder so right now if i try to move it it will be moved all right now you can see the pages are properly aligned now what we need to do we need to work with the navigation at first so that it always enters the tabs page by default then only we will be able to see that up right so in order to do that up simply we need to change this thing okay and in order to be on the safe side what i'll do is i'll go to the welcome page to check the routing is everything fine or not because we have changed the location right so i am pretty much sure that there are no errors and we can move ahead with that right no there is one error it needs to be within the pages folder right in this manner 
other things looks fine to me all right so now this is fine let's rerun it again using the command ionic serve and check this out in our browser all right now you can see it is running up again but i am getting few errors which is expected because in our scss where all we have used i think in the sign up and signing pages we have used so let's check it out in our scss so out here i'm getting an error so which is should be in this manner i think now it is fine let's do the same out in our sign in page also because we need there is, we are into an extra folder so we need to get out of that in order to make it work so now you can see we are into the tabs page and it is showing up right but this is not a normal page where we have the header we don't have the tabs out here so in this particular video we are going to work with the custom tabs so let's design the same out here so for doing that up i'll simply go to the tabs page and to the html part and in the html at first what am i going to do i'll simply clear everything and start with the ion tabs where i'm going to give an identifier called tabs which we will be working with later on whenever our tabs is getting changed right you remember we have done it in our plan sub part 2 you can check it on the i button that is available at the top if you want to learn that so i'll create this function and this function will be declared in our typescript in this manner let's keep it in this manner for the time being and in our html let's design the other stuffs that we need which will be an iron tab bar within that so iron tab bar and within this iron tab bar i'm going to pass the iron tab button which we need so the first button will be the home button and the tab redirection will be at home right so that is why this route name i have to pass it out here and within that i will simply have an icon whose name will be changing based on the selected tab if it is a selected tab selected tab which i'll create right now don't worry so if the selected tab is equals to equals to home that means the tab which i have clicked on which is a selected one if it is home then i am going to pass the name as home otherwise it's gonna be home outline so this thing also we have done in our plan sip part 2 right and in many places too so you can just check that out if you need all right so out here in the typescript let's work with some tasks so at first i am going to declare this selected tab so that we can get rid of the error i'll pass it of type any and the next thing or before that only i'll work with the view child property so view child import it up and within that i'm going to pass tabs comma static false or you can even i think skip that up because in the latest version you don't need that but let me keep it and out here tabs will be iron tabs iron tabs not ionic tabs it will be iron tabs that's what i'm going to use to access my iron tabs directly into the TypeScript so that I can directly pass out here this dot selected tabs and I will get out here the selected tab by accessing this tabs property got get selected as you can see suggestions are also coming up that is why we need to use this identifier in this manner okay if you want to console that up you can also do that up console.log this dot selected tab and that's it now as you can see one tab button is showing up right so in a similar manner i am going to create three more tab button not tab bar button not tab bar the tab button so two three four all right now the second one let's give it the name of location that's what we have created for our page right and out here if it is a location then i will pass compass else compass outline all right that is that defines the regional one i think that's gonna be good the third one will be the wish list you can save your favorite places in your wish list that's what you can do out here so it's gonna be hurt hurt outline all right and the last one is going to be profile the page is already created right so profile is the route name and out here i'm going to pass person then 
person out here also all right so in this manner i think our tabs is ready but it's still not gonna work and why is that so as you can see out here we have this thing but we haven't defined the routing in a proper manner so that we can use it up as a tabs one as you can see in the url i suppose i think if i just go to the end it is slash tab slash home and let's check the routing for that so let me go to the tabs routing module so out here you can the, you can see that these are the sub pages of this tabs page all right but we need to create the children of it so that it works in the same page only in this manner okay and i'm going to pass this home wish list profile and location within the children and we need one more thing out here that is similar to the one you can see out here this is the thing that we need this is the default location if no location is selected by default and it is entering then we need to pass this up so i'm going to pass it out here in this manner and it's gonna be slash tabs slash home that will be our, our default route okay i think everything is fine now let's check it again what happens this time so we are into the slash tab slash home route by default and let's see this time what opens up all right now you can see this is selected by default and we have the home page out here right now if i go to this location wish list and profile so our tab is properly set up now we need to work with this part up so that we can have the custom tabs that we need to build so for that i will go to the scss part where we are going to work with the iron tabs designing so let's get started with that so within the iron tabs i'm going to access the iron tab bar then out here at first i'll what i'll do is i'll set the width to 90 percent instead of the 100 percent which is the default one and the margin will be auto so that it will automatically adjust itself towards the left and right side all right it is showing up but few more things i think i have to pass it out here to my iron tab bar first is a slot to be bottom which is the default one but still i'm going to pass it and the color will be dark so that we can check it properly what it exactly looks like because out here it is white color which is not looking properly that's better now few more tasks we need to do out here first is the border radius which should be 10 pixels and then i'm going to pass the and then i'm going to pass the margin bottom of 15 pixel will be good let's check this out all right that is looking fine but i need to reduce the font size of the iron icon so i'll access my iron tab button within that the iron icon and out here i'm going to pass the font size to be 1.2 rem now it is looking better i suppose isn't it looking smaller and looking lovely too well let's open it in our galaxy s5 i think that's gonna look much better out here yeah so if you just want to increase the size you can do that about here you can control it as you like all right now the important thing is that if you click on this you can see that the outline is gone and it is getting the solid color right now we need to design this up a bit more so that we can have the look and feel of the thing that you have seen in the intro okay and for doing that up i will again work with the iron tab button now this time we'll work with the selected one only so for that area selected equals to true that means the tab button that is selected we are going to work on that and i'm going to work with the iron icon out there here the border i'm going to pass is one pixel solid and the color will be rgba well i'm going to pass the orange color only so 255 comma 95 comma 31 i think that is the color 0 0.2 is the opacity which i'm going to pass because i need this color to be on the dark side all right to the one which is selected and after that will be done i'll pass a border radius also to that of 50 pixels because that should be in the round shape and out here you can see we have this square one i have not saved this as of now that is why it is not getting implemented so before saving that up i'll also apply few pairing of 7 pixel will be good and along with that 
I'll also pass a background to it so that we can have the linear back linear gradient out here where I'm going to pass let's say 315 degree that will be the rotation and I'm going to pass the RGBA color of white 255 comma 255 comma 255 and the opacity it's gonna be 0 0.2 and it will be 0 percent then the next color will be RGBA 255 comma 125 comma 81 comma 0 0.2 and this will be 74 percent so this is my thing that I have done you can pass your own colors whichever you like to have out here all right and design it in your own way okay i think this should not be within the inverted commas so let me remove it because we were not getting the background color right all right so by mistake i have passed a comma out here which should not be the case and that is why it is not showing up let's check it now all right you can see that it is showing the background which is a gradient one isn't it so if i click on this one you can see it is getting changed and the transition is pretty smooth and the effect ripple effect is also looking very nice i would say it's similar to a 3d effect which i'm liking a lot all right so out here you can see the custom tabs is nicely designed isn't it there is one last thing that i want to tell you that when you run this thing in your real device there might be a chance that this curve design will not come up that's because our iron tab button is not having any border radius so what am i going to do out here i'll simply pass the border radius of 10 pixel to my iron buttons now out here it will only show up at the corners because we have iron tab bar behind the iron tab buttons all right so even if you have this button as curved one still it's not going to show up out here only at the corners it's going to show up as you can see out here no changes at all still we can see everything very nicely isn't it so this minor change you need to apply if you face this kind of a problem in your real device that the curves are not working properly so with this we have designed our custom tabs for our travel application successfully which is looking really lovely i would say and you can use it in most of the places in all kinds of applications whichever you like to have so if you really like this video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do that up because we need to grow our community a lot more right and if you want to learn a lot of stuff then you can check out my udemy course which links and offers are available in the description go out there and check it out there are a lot many offers which are going on right now so grab it as soon as possible and enjoy the stuff which is present out there so with that being said i'll wrap up this video out here and the next part is going to come pretty soon so stay tuned to the channel and thank you very much for watching this video see you soon